If you are a student of class 10 ICSE, do you worry about the locus and the questions based on it? Here we have the topic simplified so that you can solve the questions easily. So watch this video till the end. Like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel. So, what is locus? Locus is a path of a moving point which satisfies certain conditions as it moves. Let us look at the examples. Example number one. To understand the locus of a point 2 cm from the given line. Now, in order to understand this, we will show a line. Now, let us say this is our line. And the point has to be 2 cm away. So, from here, let us say this is 2 cm. From here, it will be 2 cm. We look at the perpendicular distance of the point. So, the point can move like so. And if you look at its path, you will see that the, it gives us a line which is 2 cm away from this given line. Now, this line could have been on the lower side as well. So, if we were to take 2 cm here from here 2 cm, this distance 2 cm, this distance 2 cm, then we would get another parallel line. And so, we say that the locus of the point 2 cm from the given line will be a pair of parallel lines on either side of the line at a distance of 2 cm from it. To understand the locus of a point which is 2 cm from a fixed point, so we call this fixed point as A and we have to find the locus of a point which is 2 cm from this fixed point in a plane. Now we have taken this as the plane of the paper and we will gently plot the points 2 cm from it. Let us say this is 2 cm. So we will take 2 cm from this fixed point. The point is moving in such a way that it is always 2 cm from it. So you will see that the path that it has taken can be described as the circumference of a circle. And so, we say that locus means the path of the point which is 2 cm from the fixed point is the circumference of the circle with the fixed point as the center and 2 cm as the radius. So, we are understanding how to describe the locus that is the path of the point which is moving according to the conditions given. Let's take the third example. To understand the locus of a point which is equidistant from two intersecting lines AB and BC intersecting at B, we show the two lines AB and BC and the point is equidistant from both of these lines. So it will be somewhere here, it will be somewhere here, it will be somewhere here. So it will be having equal distance from here to here. This will be equal to this. From here, this distance will be equal to this distance. Are we getting it? It could be here so that this distance of the point would be equal to this distance of the point. And if we join these positions of the points, we will get a line which is exactly equidistant from AB and AC and that becomes the angular bisector of this angle made by the two lines. So, how will we describe this? We will describe it as the point which is equidistant from two given lines is the angular bisector of the angle made by the two lines. To understand the locus of a point 
equidistant from two fixed points. Now let us call this point as A and this as B. And we have to find the locus of a point which is always equidistant from these two points, the two fixed points. So we can take one position over here so that this distance and this distance will be equal or we can take this point over here so that this distance and this distance can be equal or I could take this point here so that this distance and this distance would be equal. So you will see at each time this point is equidistant. Let me take another one here. So we will see that this point is equidistant from A and B as well. And if we join these points, we will get the path that is followed by this point in order to satisfy the given condition. What is the given condition? That any point over here will be on this path will be equidistant from the two fixed points. And so how will we describe this line over here, this dotted line? If I take A and B and if I join them, I'll get a line segment. Now this line segment and this line, how are they connected? This line is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So we describe it as the locus of a point which is equidistant from the two fixed point is the perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining the two fixed points. These were the basics of the topic locus. In order to describe the locus that is path of the point, I hope you have understood what is locus and in the next video we will learn how to do the constructions based on locus. Thank you for watching.